Hey, what's going on, everybody? I know it's been a long time. G Channel's back. And I'm here with a very special guest, my brother, Good Guys and Greg, here on over here. He's uh, couldn't help me out with this Mortal Kombat review. <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys and galgens? This is Good Guys and Greg. And yeah, so uh, we have both seen the movie twice at this point. Basically. And uh, we kind of have thoughts about it. And it's, I don't know, for me, it's less about the movie and more about the people watching the movie. <laughs> like, when it comes to the movie sure. <laughs> like when it comes to the movie, I'm fine with it. But when it comes to everyone, like, you know, in the Facebook feeds, reviewers, YouTubers, apparently everybody is, you know, a professional movie critic. And, you know, well, we can get into that. But all right. All right. So, of course, if you're like, we're talking about Mortal Kombat, uh, the 2021 version. And uh, it just released HBO Max. And uh, honestly, I guess we can start off with. I just want to hear your full on just, just, just synopsis. Whatever you thought about it, whatever you just, just the last thoughts. Uh, it was fun. It was fun. It was exactly what I thought it was going to be. I didn't think it was going to be like the trailers made it look a lot more, you know, intense than it was. Um, but it was a fun movie. There were some. Hiccups. It definitely felt like certain scenes were um, either not finished or cut strangely. There was a lot of just like technical issues with it where I was just like, OK, that cut was weird. OK, Liu Kang and Kung Lao are backing up. And at first they're back to back and then they're like five feet apart and then they're back to back again, five feet apart, back back again in the same like scene. <laughs> um, without teleporting. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, like it definitely didn't have. I felt like the movie took itself a little bit too seriously. I feel like if it had a little bit more cheese to it, that the movie probably would have gone over a bit better cheese. with people. You want more cheese. I just like, like the I right kind of cheese. cheese. The right kind of cheese. All right. Like, like, um, all right. And like, uh, I liked most of the characters. Some characters were a bit bland, you know, Cole being, you know, the main one. Um, I feel like we needed more of Raiden. Raiden, you know, dipped his toe into being a lot more interesting of a character, but he just wasn't in the movie enough. Mm -hmm. Shang, same with Shang Tsung, uh, Shang Tsung. He just wasn't in the movie enough. And then, like, he just rolled out a few... And I saw some people complaining about like Raiko and I can't remember the vampire chick's name. Um, yeah. Uh, dang, but like, yeah. But like people complaining about them. And I'm like, they're just jobbers, dude. No one cares about them. They were in one game. They're in one game and no one remembers them. No one cares about those characters. Stop making it sound like, oh, they messed up my favorite characters. No one cares about those characters. Shut up. I literally had someone <laughs> talk about that, that uh the, the back chick. Like literally, like, oh yeah, no. I was like, dude, what like isn't she like one game? And she was like, I mean, yeah, but I feel one like, game. I was like I'm like, dude. <laughs> Like I guess, but even nobody cares. Get out of here. She's like a fan favorite. No, no, she isn't. No, she isn't. You don't care about her. You cared about her boobies. That was about it. I mean, what? I mean, yeah. And I barely remembered Ryko. Barely remembered him. <laughs> so is I'm that like, a like when I first saw like the the still images, I'm like, is that like a young Shao Kahn? He's got like the big hammer. Is that like Young Shao Kahn or something? And they're like, oh, that's right. I'm like, oh, that's Raiko? Oh. Mm. <laughs> and, and I guess, is that all the, is that everything you felt about the movie, right? Like in terms of just a black, I can get into what I feel a little bit. Because I'm like, that kind of can go into what I, how I went about it. Uh, like, fighting was good. You know, I've, I felt like it, was, it, is, it wasn't mind blowing. It wasn't, you know, the raid or anything. But, you know, for what it was, it was, it was good. It was better than, you know, Resident Evil fight scenes. Um, it wasn't like quick cuts and, you know, 
bull crap of height and people can't fight kind of stuff. Right. Um, the story was fine. You know, I feel like we didn't necessarily need Cole, um, but I also felt like he didn't hurt the movie very much. Um, yeah, like I thought the characters were very true to who they are in the games. Um, and I thought everyone did a good job. I definitely, and yeah, I just enjoyed the movie. It was an enjoyable movie. I mean, I watched it twice, and the second time, it was just as good as the first one. It, it didn't get better. It didn't get worse. It was just still a fun time. So, yeah. Okay. Well, you know me, man. I'm, I'm, I, I like video games well, but I, lo I look at it in terms of a movie movie. And I, yeah. I, although I do say it was pretty enjoyable, especially the first time watching it. Like, I walked, mm -hmm. I watched it, like, I'm saying some plays. I'm laughing at candles. Like, oh, oh, oh. I was doing a lot of good stuff. I was, <laughs> everything was Yeah, like, oh, Kano is, yeah, Kano seems talent. to be the one common thing that everyone loves. Yeah, you know, the first time I was Kano. But upon like, one scene in particular always gets me when, like, <laughs> yo, Go ahead, Kano. Go ahead. Yeah, like when when Cole asks uh, Sonya, like, "Where's your so? Where's your uh, tattoo?" She's like, "I don't have one." And you just like barely, barely hear Kano in the background. Wah, wah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's one of those things. Like, he's he's a very enjoyable piece of what what you need to like have in there. And that's one of the things where like, I guess that's what I wanted out of the movie as well as a lot of different things where I didn't see in the movie where. That first seven minutes really let you really led you to believe that you were gonna see something like, oh man, we're about to get get into it kind of kind of stuff. Where it's like, oh man, Th so this movie kind of suffers from the nowadays uh, symptoms where this is kind of like a you watch this and I'm like, there's gonna be a sequel. There's gonna be like an extended kind of universe kind of feel thing to it where you know it's not a full on it's movie a setup it's movie. It's not one. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't live on its own kind of thing. Like as well mm -hmm. as it really would we would like it to do. Because yeah. just like I said, I just watched ninety five Mortal Kombat. I'm like that just it holds up. I think they really did it because they felt like it was hold up. And Annihilation shows that they weren't thinking. <laughs> they weren't thinking that was gonna happen. But <laughs> but anyway, yeah. This is like obviously they got pieces going on into the next one. Go, like, you know, that's what it feels like, at least watching this. Oh, this Cole guy. Um, that's another thing where there's like, oh, this, we have to combination, you know, we have to, you know, basically uh, connect with the with the people who who play Mortal Kombat as kids and stuff like that. They got families now and woo woo and, you know, he's the descendant of Scorpion. Scorpion's like the mascot of, of Mortal Kombat, essentially. So I'm over here, like, it's got like a lot of like, Okay, guys, you guys got this, uh, you know, from the south side of Chicago, little midway games, shout outs type of stuff like that. I'm like, all right, guys, I, I see what they're doing, but it's just, like you said, it's totally necessary. Yeah. This is all, <laughs> it's, it's so much lower in Mortal Kombat, you really don't need these. It's like the human element in Transformers. You're like, why are we talking to the humans? There's so much Autobot stuff we could be talking about, you know, whatever. So, like, the same yeah. exact thing is happening here with Mortal Kombat. We're like, we, all right, no, no, no. We could be talking about you know, Quan Chi. We could be going over here. We go, you know, and you say like, yeah, Shang Tsung, gr grossly underused, and yeah. you know, talk about everybody who loves. Oh, say about you know what and what. I, the, the original, I, I gotta say, is a little bit edging out because that Shang Tsung man. Well, like, <laughs> there's too many quotables. There's just, like, yeah, in that movie, there's, there's too many quotables. Things I'm telling. And this Shang like, Tsung is completely <laughs> forgettable when it comes I, to it. Yeah, let, let, let me finish my full on. Like, yeah. Because this the way the way this thing is shot as well, it's almost in this. Um, people considered it cheap. It's, it's studio. It's COVID. You know, shot. I understand. Uh, but like the original is done with film and it's done with you know practical, a lot of practicality and stuff like that. Even though the CGI in there is like you know, I, I was a uh, crazy kooky nanny CGI. Like that's yeah. <laughs> just like it's just wild and crazy kids. You know, you see Red Tile going all wild. So like. This reptile looks better, but is our reptile fight better than the reptile fight ninety five? <laughs> I remember we used to record, we used to rewind that fight over and over and fight and over. I watched it today, and it dun 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 dun. I'm over here like, yeah, baby. So I'm, I'm like, I'm watching. I'm like, I'm nowhere near jazzed up watching uh, yeah. fight reptile. Uh, yeah, you know. It, 
And like part of that is, you know, we were kids at the time. No. And, you know. At, at well, no, time, like I, I, I'm not saying like you still can't I can get hype. Same, I give it the same type of uh I give movies the same kind of thing every time. Every same time of gusto every time because there's a certain way and a certain way they were cutting the scenes, cutting these action scenes. You have to realize they were doing a good job editing. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh yeah, no, no, no. I'm not tearing it down for that. Noticing at five, I'm noticing at you know 31. Oh man, that's that that's cool. Like they were going all the way through. You know, they, that's all the way through here. They they showed the movement. Yeah, some of it is definitely hokey in, in certain parts and stylistically at that time. If it's yeah. the time period, but ultimately how it all comes together as it cuts in as a movie. Yes, some of that is some crazy club kid 1995 music video. Uh, you know, you know, <laughs> uh, 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 what you call it? Uh, close up all the way up on a stone face, random, and all the stuff in Outworld, and guys running down the street randomly. Crack. You know, like, kind of like crackheads <laughs> in the night. You're like, what's going on? But that was the style at the time. Now we don't need all that. Now we can just show Outworld as a huge, vast barren area and stuff like that. And I get that. And I like that. I like that particular look of it. But it's one of the things where we're losing certain, something in this like translation here where, you know, the spirit even in a, ni- in a 1995 PG-13 Mortal Kombat movie still kind of got it right. Yeah. And like we had when a it re- comes to when Raiden's it comes to like that, that, that kind of hmm? Raiden's better in, in the old one too. Well, yeah, I think that's just he has that charm. He's yeah, exactly. That. He has that charm. That's and like I feel like the new one was could have gotten into that more, but yeah. they, like I said, he wasn't in the movie. Basically, he yeah. like popped up and was just like said a couple lines and then disappeared. <laughs> well, with all that said, this was way more under the original kind of Mortal Kombat, you know, mythos. Uh, yeah. Unless you would kind of you know know the, know the love if you play a lot of the video games, and that's why I kind of got enjoy, enjoyed it because yeah, the first one was way more Liu Kang focus, <laughs> all this other stuff like that. Like Liu Kang, we love him to death, but he's not really the main main dude yeah. all the way, like all the way like and he's, like he's a part of a character. And like you know, I don't mind Shang Tsung not being in the movie as much because, like we said, they're building this is the the kickoff movie. For you know the next the next few ones, and you don't want you know Shang Tsung losing right away. So he might lose in this next one, and then the last one he has to they got to take on Shao Kahn. But like Sub Zero was the main villain in this, and that's who they had to take down. And if they do to Shang Tsung what they did with Scorpion, I mean uh, Sub Zero, mm. then like yeah, they they introduced him in the in this one. They built him up a little bit, and then in the next one, they can make him the same kind of force that Sub Zero was in this one. Because you know, Sub Zero in the original, that fight was yeah. I've okay. always been disappointed with that fight. <laughs> that fight yeah. was always weak to me. <laughs> yeah, it was okay, but it was one of the things where, like, yeah, it wasn't a thing where how good Scorpion and Johnny Cage's fight was in that movie. Like, right. I just like, like, yeah, he, he that was a memorable fight when it comes to the blue and, and the orange. <laughs> so zero, so zero, like, oh man, I could win this, but I'm staying in one spot and just slowly making a ice shield. This boy, oh yeah, he oh, he he went out like a pump. He was stomping he like a pump. <laughs> Real quick, Scorpion was talking the absolute dog crap out of Johnny Cage. He was dog, boom, but the one we just chose is his head. Just, down to the ground, I'm like, oh, oh, Charlie Murphy. <laughs> it's just like the dropping to the face. Ah, oh, my like, goodness. Oh. Yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> you see that? It's just like, Johnny, no, get out of there, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Guard your head, man. Guard your head. Clinch. Turn him up. <laughs> you gotta do something. But oh. yeah, like, you, you, people, and like, I've seen people upset that, like, this Sub Zero is so evil, and I'm like, it's Bihan, dude. Yeah. Go, go back. Like, that's the story. Is that Bihan was the evil one? Like, current Sub Zero is the good one, yeah. But, and like, some people are like, they they made him too OP, and I'm like, do you forget 
he's sub zero. He's supposed to be OP. It's like sub zero that he's a, he's the pinnacle of the Lin Kuei. Yeah. And you know, a lot of people forget, but Mortal Kombat mythologies, if you play that game, he took out so many people in that game. That's and it's great. like, dude, Sub Zero is a beast. And I'm glad that they actually made him a full-on threat in this, as opposed to just I'm gonna stand in one spot and make a shield and die like a punk. Yeah, or be under like Shang Tsung's, you know, you know, possession or whatever. That was, you know, I know that was cool to have Scorpion and Sub Zero right next to each other and be able to display them off like that, like toys and action figures, because they're trying to sell toys and action figures. But it was the thing where, um, you know. That was lame. That's not the story. Even as a kid, we were all yeah. doing like they don't like. Wait each a minute. Like, why are they working together? They hate each other. Scorpion and Sub Zero, faces of any enemies. They power of my power. I'm gonna get out of here. You ain't that cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They, they would have got out of that. I was a kid. I was like, they would have got out of that. And <laughs> <laughs> I'd have froze up out of did something. I did something. <laughs> Like, bro, oh. yeah, but there's a lot of different key ch differences, but in here, there it seems to be on the line of what we traditionally know, and that's where I'm excited. I want to see where this goes, and that's what yeah. happens. With this one. I want to see where it goes, and the other one, I, I know where it goes. Sad. <laughs> it's just what I can't, I can't well, do nothing back. about it. That's the, like, uh, <laughs> that's the past. Annihilation. <laughs> Annihilated my heart. <laughs> and then, like, you have some people saying that Annihilation is better <sighs> than this one. And I'm yeah. like, you and your feelings. You yeah, are in your feelings. <laughs> you need to sit down, take a drink, take a smoke, take a walk, something. Do it. And really sit down and think about what you just said. More combat, <laughs> More combat Annihilation science. It's Damn. like there is no, there is nothing. No redeeming. It's quality. like, did you like all the characters from the first one? The only thing back. Quality. I was talking about this the other day with the person who liked it, and I was like, oh man, you know, it's, it's unfortunate. Uh, like I was, I was talking about uh, the only reason why it's good in certain regards is so many characters that you get to see in there. Like it's cool in a regard to see, oh man, that character's in there. Like, well, you got Sidel, you got you got Baraka, you got Woo Woo in there, but like, not like. I hated that. I hated that because it was it was one hundred percent like oh you remember Baraka here he is gone you remember Nightwolf here he is gone you remember Sub Zero here he is gone and I'm like yeah. well is are are we gonna see no <laughs> it was it was the sheer novelty factor of it even as a kid I knew that I was like oh man like I guess everybody was in there so it was a you know hour and forty minute movie. You know, I, even at the end of the day, I knew like there's only so much you're gonna do. But like, Cyrax and Jax fought. You know, that was weird. <laughs> I like Jax they, they that movie, get... though. and I and Annihilation that was hilarious because he was funny in that. He was like a for real black dude that got metal arms. Like he was like, <laughs> yeah, like, he was like, yeah. This one over here. Oh, oh. I was like, what is this? <laughs> this, this Okay, that's another thing about this. This Arcana business. I don't know if I like it. I don't think I like this Arcana thing. I don't know. If I, like I don't mind little... it. It's a reason why they have powers, and it's a story progression thing. It's a plot I device. Get it, but that's another thing where like they kind of like mess around with the mythology. Where they, you know, you could have just had Sonya get some some tech and some gear, like you know, like just I feel like it. that's weaker. I feel like that's weaker. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna just come from the like because it's organic. I don't know, but then we're okay with Spider Man getting you know, not getting natural web shooters. It's a weird kind of situation where it's like, you want to go like actual true to the source material, or do you want to just be messing around? Because, like, what's Striker gonna do if he comes up here? He gonna have a gun, and then what's up? Like, so man, all they gotta do, all they gotta do is be like, okay. This is Stryker. He's like Sonya before. He doesn't have, he's not a chosen one. He's just a part of the group. Sonya still contributed before she got her chosen one mark. 
So Stryker could just be another guy who assists, but he isn't a chosen one. He'll just never be chosen. He's just gonna be a he's cop like that. Like, <laughs> you already you you and I don't think that they're gonna put Stryker and Johnny you Cage. Have in enough it. power, you're a cop. <laughs> Stryker. That's what they gonna say in the movie. <laughs> got no power. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's terrible. They gonna make they gonna make him a jobber. And like one another thing that I appreciated was like I felt like there was more danger in this one mm -hmm. than in the originals. Like, sure, they they killed off Johnny Cage in the second movie, mm -hmm. but it didn't feel anything really like it was it was upsetting because he was such a major part of the first one but yeah. it wasn't like a I don't know like you just kind of forgot it after the initial like thing well, Kano helped Kano really helped all that because mm -hmm. that's that's all it was for me you know how much I love Johnny Cage and there's one things where I'm yeah. like you know like literally no uh, watching it, I supplied it the last little bit, you know, that, that was a teaser. That's why I thought in the first bit of the movie, I was like, oh man, they got like a Johnny Cage poster on the side there. And I'm, and I'm like, oh, that's, he's going to be in the next movie. And like, mm -hmm. yeah. Like, that could be, I guess, another reason why people, oh, it's kind of bad. Because that's not a really good, like, teaser if that's a thing. But anyway, um, that's beside the point. His presence was missed, but I like that he's going to come later because yeah. now it's going to be funny because everybody's going to be really all into it. Dude, he's going to be for real. He's going to be for real, Johnny Cage, where you're going to be like, this dude for real not taking it seriously. Like, Yeah. You know? And like, at this point, because they're bringing in a new character, they can like kind of phase Cole out a bit more. Yeah. So like if people like they, they try to introduce – they tried to introduce a new character. Mm. And, you know, from the sound of it, he didn't take off. So now because they're introducing Johnny Cage, they could actually just be like, okay, well, now he's the new main character. For this movie, this is still a continuation, but now Cole can take a back seat. Maybe they kill him off because they, they're clear. They, they're not afraid to kill off main characters because mm. technically Kano was the main character. Like, yeah, he did the heel change towards the end. But for the whole movie, he was with the main group. And so they killed off Kano and they killed off Kung Lao. So they could kill off Cole. Yeah. And that's the thing about it. Like, uh, or just say he doesn't want to fight anymore. He wants to, you know, stay with his family. family. Yeah, be with his family. Um, yeah. So they have plenty of ways to take remove him in the next movie. Yeah. But, yeah. I, I mean, like, here's... I, they tried it, and I thought it was pretty cool in certain regards because they, you know, like I said, he's the everyman, you know, the connection to the to the guy in the audience character. Yeah, he player the character, yeah. yeah. Exactly, play a character, dude. He's, you know, MMA, you know, that's the closest thing to Mortal Kombat we got, like, in real life that we could legally do. You yeah. know, like, there's all types of stuff right there. I'm like, all right, I, I see what they're doing. Oh, man, yeah, dude. I, yeah, I'm going to watch sit here and do it, you know, like, that's why it's made like this, because it's initially in the pre-COVID world, it was meant for us to be in the seats like this and just be there, oh, guys, yeah. me, yeah, I do this, too. Let's go to Buffalo Wild Wings after this. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Nothing wrong with none of that, but it's just, <laughs> <I'm> just <laughs> that's definitely, you know, that, that attention there with Cole here. Where I was just like, okay. Yeah. And I think a lot of people called that out. Where they're like, we didn't need all that. Like, we really yeah. just could. Like I said, we have so many other characters. We have so many other things we could be doing. I mean, y'all yeah. introduced Kung Lao here, and he looked like he just popped straight out the video game, which I was happy with. I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah personality-wise, like, his moves was, and everything, the way he looked, he was on point. That was Kung Lao. I mean, and they killed him. And I was like, you <laughs> son of a bitch. I was like, there you go. He got the hat. Oh, baby. Like, <laughs> coming in. So, yeah. And I love Kano's burn on me. He's like, he's like, you know, you can get, you know, fire powers or something or some shit like Frisbee hat. <laughs> it's like, oh. 
He called that man Kung Pao. I was cracking up. Like, <laughs> he's at the dinner. He's like, oh, Kung Pao. I'm like, this man is just the worst. Like, he's just like, he's like just calling this man out. And I love that he that Kano got his stuff first and just caught like just just being a, just been all around dick. Yeah. <laughs> that was the funniest thing about it. We're like, okay. Excuse me. Okay. Yeah, no, every everything, everything about it was amazing. We was like, okay, that's that's a good little banter here. We're okay, but at the same time, you're not seeing it, the way it's shot. The the, the 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 music. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that about it. The music in this one is very much showing fear. It's not that good. It's not that good. I will say that's like, time I forget it's there. Yeah, it's it's just some it's just something in the background. I really noticed that, and laugh, even though they kind of cheated by putting. The theme, the amazing, you know, theme in there like four times. Like this, yeah, oh, there's a lot of times where it's two, 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 two. Yeah, yeah. Other other parts of it, like uh, Juno Reactor for a Reptile, or like mm. uh, uh, you know, Johnny Cage and Scorpion's fight, or what was the fight with the uh, 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 the first fight with uh, the Machine and and Liu Kang. Oh, Hakeem the Machine. Hakeem the Machine. We ain't gonna forget about you, baby. Yeah, we ain't gonna forget about you. Hey, man. Yeah, yeah that was the first soul that got sucked out there. <laughs> Bro, that was like, that was the worst thing out there. When Cabal said that, like, yeah, he's about to get his soul sucked. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> whoa, they're doing this. I was like, I was like, <laughs> yeah, here. insert the the port hub thing. <laughs> Breath. I was just like, <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> That's what we're gonna have in Luke Kang. Oh no, like over here, no, baby, never coming back to you. Yeah, and and I kind of rewatched it, and I kind of see what you were saying when, over the phone a while ago. He was like, oh, he's a little bit. He's, he's a little bit, you know, he's a little caring. He's a little bit. Yeah. Like, I was watching. I'm like, you say cousin. You say brother. You sure? You, you, you sure you don't need nothing more? Like, don't even. <laughs> Katana ain't here. Katana ain't here. Her fan here. Her fan here. But, you know, I Which don't I care. Mean. I don't Which care if they, you know, did that, but. It, it, it did feel like his story back when he was, you know, little dudes who was like doing stuff to like guy kids, like, little yeah. and stuff like that, like himself. And I'm like, y'all trying to say Luke Kang got touched? I'm like, this is sounding. I'm like, this is sounding really berserk right now. All right, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, he's telling the story, and I'm sitting here thinking of like Guts and Griffith and stuff that happened to them when they were, you know, orphan children. Yeah. Like, but that at least was a well plotted out storyline that like actually had consequences and like you yeah. know ramifications and full on thing. This is kind of shoehorned in. We know the lore of a Mortal Kombat. How many yeah. times has this happened? Hmm. And more with Liu Kang. Well, I don't know because like. I, I tried to do like a little bit of research on like the backstories of like Liu Kang and stuff, and I haven't seen anything about before he was a monk. So this sounds like it was something that was made just for the movie. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. It fell shoehorned in because it was shoehorned in, and that's something yeah. that's something so you know, uh, you know, uh, to the source material. Y'all just kind of did that, like I said, with Cole and certain other things in there. Like I said, it, it suffers from this. 2021 movie itis, you know, in certain regards, where it's like can't live on its own. It's putting a whole complete thought. Like you gotta wait wait to the next one to see certain things. You know, they yeah. got to, they got they gotta satisfy these people, that people, that this this, this demographic or that demographic. People with families, <laughs> like, you, yeah. know, it's like, you know, you know, all the kids. They said we got we got connection, we got connection, and so and, and all of them rated R Mortal Kombat, and yeah. we could have made this real simple. Like, yeah, like they definitely could have taken out Cole. Like you said, there's plenty of other characters. It didn't have to be Liu Kang for the main character again. Uh -huh. It could have been, you know, someone else. Um, or we could have, 
like we could have just skipped ahead and just got to Johnny Cage and Johnny Cage could have been the introduction character since they're going to be introducing him in the next one anyway. One thing I was uh, I think maybe of uh, maybe of Jeremy Johns or something like that. He was talking about like the re- the uh, Jax and um, Jax and Sonya being the ones to kind of be like, oh yeah, we know this whole thing about the tournament. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm like, it is kind of like off putting. Like they were the ones first. Like not Luke Kang, not Raiden, not like nobody. I was like, well, you know, technically, I, I, Luke Kang and Raiden were already in it. They just hadn't run into Sonya and Jax yet. They were just I'm talking about on our the, side of things. Because essentially Cole is our like uh, Cole is our character man. And that's what I'm saying. Jax yeah. is the one who found him. That's what I'm saying. Like like Jax is the guy who gets him. Not like it should have been Raiden or Luke Kang or something like that. And that'll fed fed right into the fantasy thing of it all. Well, I'm like, yeah, I, I kinda like under, I kinda agree with that because I'm like, yeah, they they should be the ones to kind of question a little bit of this world because they're the technical, like, military people a little bit. Like, it would be a little, like, not, don't, they won't have to make it so obvious, but it'll be a thing where, okay, what? Like, you know? <laughs> and, like, what they could have did was they could have skipped Cole mm-hmm. and our introductory to the world could have been Sonya and Jax, and they could have shown the scene that they were talking about where you know, they were chasing Je- uh, They were chasing Kano. Kano yeah. killed one of the guys, and then the, the mark got on him. And that could have been our introductory scene into Mortal Kombat. And then they'd be like, okay, because now they, 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 they are in their regular world. They're just trying to go after, they're, they were trying to go after this one guy. Right. And and then Kano comes and they, they like get the guy. Kano comes, kills him. Mark transfers to him. And then but then they also need to start finding out about the marks and stuff. And then they find out Kano knows where honestly. You know what makes it the most is. you know what makes all this the most like, you know, uh jarring is honest. I'm I'm watching it on the on the screen here, just just in the background, just chilling. Is yeah. the last scene when they're fighting. It, you want to see Sub Zero and Scorpion fight. Sub Zero, Scorpion, and this other guy fighting, though. It's just like, all right, y'all. Like, it's like, like it's, it's kind of jarring. In, in, in yeah, it's like one on one point five. <laughs> right. And, and I got like, my family and I'm knocking through the ice, and it's like, okay, yeah, cool. But this long life, like, there was 16 something, uh, 1617 feud. You know, yeah. you know, it was going like, on. This, this, this dude <laughs> killed his whole, you know, his whole clan. Because they brought and back like, Scorpion anyway. And I'm here too. <laughs> they brought back Scorpion anyway. The whole thing about it is like, yes, like he is here. I know they, they did it like in the sense of the actor who's like, the actor who's playing Scorpion is like 59 years old. So like yeah. they had to only use him here and there. Like he's okay, this scene and that scene. So like, you know. Uh, aside from Scorpion, I'm uh, Sub Zero. That's why Sub Zero is so gangster, I think. Yeah, he's like a young dude doing all these other stuff. So, you know, um, but aside from that, they could have still written it a certain way to just have Sub Zero, yeah. um, Scorpion, be like that, fighting Sub Zero. But I, yeah. I don't know. They just had to have this guy. They had to have a man Cole. Yeah, because like you don't really you don't care about him, like. Yeah, he's he's a bland character. He isn't fun. He doesn't contribute anything like dialogue wise. He's just there to say my family, my family, my family. And I'm like, nobody cares. Your family sucks. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, it's one of those things where in in movies, especially movies about properties that we like, and movies. I mean. I mean uh, Video games, comic books, and stuff like that. Yeah. I always ask certain questions like, "What would I want be wanting to do right now with this movie? Like, you know, what do I want to see? You know, are we wasting time doing X, Y, Z?" Case in point: Spider Man Three when they're making an omelet. I'm like, I don't care why we why are we making omelets in Spider Man Three with Venom and, and during Goblin and all this other stuff and loose. We could be shooting another scene that could be way more informative, way more awesome. Or like, even if you have to have these characters here, way better than this. 
Like, you yeah. know? It's like, I get you're trying to, you know, be like, oh, they're getting closer together. Maybe she's going to cheat on Peter doing a twist, making omelets. No one cares. Yeah. No one cares. So like, that's, that's the same thing with this whole thing with, with, with his family. He kept going. The only thing that was cool was when uh, she goes back and he did the, like, the Michael Myers Sub-Zero, you know, walk back. You know, through the window and stuff. There was, there was a couple of good scenes like that. Like I enjoy, ah. I enjoyed the uh, the beginning part when it started snowing. And it was all whimsical and like, you know, it's the first. It's like, oh, it's so nice. It's July. It's like, oh, <laughs> oh, that was cool. We came down the block and he just over here, just like, yeah, <laughs> it's just like, oh. That's great. Like I was looking at like this is what I want to see. Like, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, that's what you want to see. Uh, I want I, of... I just want to gush on Sub Zero for a minute. <laughs> I just want to gush on Sub Zero for a Go minute. Sub Zero, Sub -Zero was so freaking awesome in here. Like he was terrifying. He was like a wraith. He was just this haunting freaking cloud yeah. over the whole movie. And he just would show up. And he'd be like, oh, things are going really good for you, aren't they? Not if I'm here. Give me this. <laughs> it's like, oh, freaking. What? This, what, uh, this man Jack talking about six tools. Six tools. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm six tools. All right, baby. All right, all right, six tools. Six, six. <laughs> six tools. Where my arms at? I ain't got no arms no more. <laughs> Like he was rain like I'm gonna go ahead and teleport everybody out here. Stop them, Sub Zero. All right. Boop. Yep. <laughs> That's all it took. Yeah. Or like that one part when uh when before Jax was about to fight him and he like comes over with the gun and Sub Zero just goes in and all the ice smokes. Just... Yeah. <laughs> it was like, oh, that was cold. That was cold. yeah. Yeah, all the all, all the and every time he goes into a building, and like I just imagine him like like decorating before people show up. <laughs> like it's assumed that him walking through is making all the ice, but I like to think Sub Zero is just like mm. okay. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Maybe like a nice chandelier here. Mm. Mm. <laughs> His fighting, his fighting was where it got me. It was just like he was almost like taking things out of like he was actually like terraforming, like getting the mist out of the moisture out of the air kind of thing. Just you know, like yeah, like very very water bender. I was like, oh wee, like the way he's moving. Oh no, like I and I like that he used his ice for stuff other than like ice balls and stuff, like. He would turn his hands to ice, and like when he scratched uh, Jax's shoulder, I like that part where he yeah. just like froze it just a little bit, and then like scratched it down to like mess him up. Yeah, or, like when he grab people and start freezing them from the throat, and then like hit them through the throat. Yeah, he's of course the, the he froze you know Scorpion's blood and stabbed it with him, stabbed oh, him with yeah. it. Yeah, I love and that scene. The callback scene where Scorpion tries to like hit him in the head with the spear, and uh, the second time when they meet at the end of the movie, he does it again and he dodges it, and then the chain's here and he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> "It's like, really cool." And, like, like he, he just puts his face on the like, "Can you cut me again?" And he grabs the chain before it cuts him. It's like, "Oh my god, that was that was too tight." <laughs> So I yeah, like I love that. I love that scene. Just Sub Zero is just so so good in there. Even though he kind of turns into a punk during that fight at the end, like I after mean, like Cole and Scorpion start teaming up on him, and he's got like this bug eye, just like <gasps> they're hurting me. Kind of I mean, look, and I'm just like that oh. direction. You know, yeah, that's the direction. But like one thing about that, you know. Um, it's very this new one. I complain about it again. Is if you're talking about Sub Zero, yeah, they, they stated certain things very plainly, very obviously, very. Uh, I am not behind no more. 
I am Sub Zero. It's like, dude, you've probably been calling yourself Sub Zero for the last hundred years. Like, yeah. you know, you know? No, today, today, he just he changed his ID card over. He's like, it's legal now. He's like, <laughs> do I have to tell you again? <laughs> I just got back from the DMV. <laughs> gotta hear this again, Sub Zero. So, like, you know, same thing with Scorpion. He just like, so you know, just in case. You know, I'm about to kill you and all, but like, just in case, Scorpion now. All right, that <laughs> it's like, card is made out. You know, let's 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 do this. Let's do this. Um, you know, Jax Jax was pretty straight in terms of being a Jax. Yeah, I mean, Jax is such a man character that, like, every iteration of Jax has always just been like, and Jax is here. I just need a gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> he's still. I want a gotcha grab. I just need him to turn into a giant and step on his enemies. <laughs> I just need them to notice at what level they're on and actually use the level fatality because they literally could have just. Uh, you have Jack uppercut the dude into the spikes below. It's a rated R Mortal Kombat movie. Come on, I hope baby. they do that for the next one. Like. I know uh, uh, Sub Zero is going to be Noob Cybot, but they might introduce his brother. Man. He could have done that at some point. He could have done the, you know, the ice from the ceiling at like the the Mortal Kombat. You good? Yeah, that's just a little, a little bit dark. Ugh. Okay. It's now it's darker. That's yeah, great. it's darker. You just a scary face. Now I'm like. Now I'm so zero. <laughs> Super creepy <laughs> looking. <laughs> now I don't want to work. That's hilarious. This thing. There we go. Nah. There but we go. yeah, like you know, they can. He he almost he almost could have did with uh, Scorpion, where he like made the ice thing and like threw him into it. He could have did some stuff like that. They could have. Brought some ice from the ceiling and uppercutted someone into it, or like made it on the ground and slam them into it. Yeah, you got an ice clone in there, which was pretty good. That was dope. I was happy that they did that. Yeah, the, the guy was arguing. He was, they didn't even have an like ice clone. In it. I'm like, what are you telling? It wasn't ice clone in it. You ain't even watching it. And I'm like, got away. Got away. Got away. Ain't talking about man. They gotta have yeah, some crazy stuff. That was dope. Like, I, I kind of wish that he did the slide. Did he do the slide? I don't remember him doing the slide. Like, not really. Nah. Like, nah, not really. Mm. And a, but that's not fine. That we can just say, oh, yeah, that was a slide. Yeah, there wasn't, like, a definitive moment. But, um, let's see. Who else? Uh, we already said uh, Kano and Kung Lao are good. Sonya... I feel like she's like the best Sonya we've had so far. Just because, like, so Sonya is like Jax for me. It's just like, and then we have Sonya. And I'm like, all right. I'm glad she's here, I guess. It would feel it would feel odd if she wasn't here, but I don't care that she is here. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. I like Sonya and Jax enough in terms of their camaraderie. And you know how much I like you know, uh, the camaraderie, how it wasn't there in the first yeah. one. If you're going to say, you know, hey, Sonya, don't go on that boat. Hey, Sonya. I, like, <laughs> I, I I'm like, ain't that your partner? Ain't that your <laughs> first man at your people's? You know, as a little kid, I was like, hey, <laughs> you did her. Hey, Sonya. Try heading back. <laughs> so sad. So sad. I'm like, bro, he's just okay. You know, so like, you know, they're, they're actually riding for each other. You actually see yeah. a lot more of that. Like, they shit, they just, oh man, Jax did not check in. What, What's going on? XYZ, you know. And yeah, so that's like they were really actually weird. friends in this. Yeah, that you can tell it was a bit more of all that. So, yeah. Um, I think I just don't really care about them because they're so plain characters. It's like, yeah. we have, you know, martial artists, fireball. We got, you know, we got like all these martial artists and monsters and stuff like that. And they're like, I'm a soldier. I'm like, 
I guess. But that's the kind. Of, but I always, as I always thought that that was the kind of Batman element where like that made him hard. <laughs> like you go, you gonna sign up for this? Yeah, the Marines wasn't enough. I had to go to more combat. <laughs> All right, what's your name? Jax? You got metal. Yeah, I met arms. Okay. Okay, like, so, you know, just the realest of the real. Be all you can be in the army. Like, seriously. You see it, like, oh, that's him. So, same thing with Giles. Same thing, like, you just that real, huh? You fighting electric dudes in Brazil. Yeah. Look at me. Look at my hair. I'm like, okay. It's like, you know, that, that's all I can say about like yeah they, you, you see him as playing I see him as just like look that's the hard hardest, the realest of the real yeah the hardest dude you gonna find out <laughs> the hardest chick you gonna find that's so I feel funny. like that we got that with Johnny Cage I feel like we got that with Johnny Cage though because he was just like people think my like, fighting is fake I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to another island. And fight monsters. No, tell me that's <laughs> no. He only so he only uh, he's a, a movie star. He only is so much. Only so many people are gonna be that. The actual people, the everyday people, more relatable people are people who could be in the military. And that's why, like, yeah, like Sonya Blade and Jack, that makes a sense. That makes a lot more sense, honestly. When it's like these dudes, especially like the way they keep throwing it in, where they're chasing Kano. Up the way, and Kano's always broke in it. It's always they chasing Kano. They always get. They never get. At least they had Kano this time. I can at least say they had him. That she had him in custody this time. I was like, man, it is always like, yeah, we got to track on Kano. Got to get Kano. If Kano came up out of school. Anybody pick up Kano? Like no one's. <laughs> no one came to get Kano. Like bro. Kano's sitting at the park. <laughs> Shucks. <laughs> like, you know, that's the thing about it. Like, yeah, I, I don't, um, I like how they kind of progress in certain regards, but it's just only so much. The one property I want to bring up, aside from all the movies, aside from the video games, is the web series, mm. Mortal Kombat Legacy, I do believe. Mm. You ever watch it? Mm -mm. I've seen stuff on it. I, I know, like, at first it was supposed to be, like, a more realistic thing, and then they started adding in the more mystical stuff. And then from the sound of it, like, parts of it were cool, but it kind of got crap. I want you to check it out because especially now that they're doing this, uh, this movie series and it seems to be more, you know, uh, university episodic type of way, you mm -hmm. know, they they covered a lot of ground and they even covered the Scorpion Sub Zero thing uh, back then. And that's part of the reason I was, it, it, and it's honestly comparable. Like even now that, now that I've watched this movie and I've watched you know uh, more more Kombat Legacy, it's very comparable. Even back then, uh, how they did how they went about it. They go all the way into the Cyber Sub Zero series and all that. Cyber man. Mm -hmm. So like, yeah, I was. I did see. That. I did see. That one scene of how Scorpion got his catchphrase, where his dad was just like, "Get over here!" <laughs> it's just like, "Yeah, that's stupid." <laughs> yeah. Some of it, some of it is screams cheap web series. So that you know, yeah. have, you know, Raiden's the god. Of that. I'm the guy, and, I, and I'm in like a uh, a mental asylum. It's yeah, twelve monkeys. Them, you know, yeah. I get, get it. Like you know, but. Yeah. I also I also had a question about this movie. I'm like, where did Scorpion learn English? Yeah, uh, okay, Sub Zero. <laughs> no, Sub Zero for the Lin Kuei. I was like, see, he, okay, so he was saying all this other stuff, and then he gonna say after he killed him for the Lin Kuei. Oh like, man, and then and then at the end of the day, they still had what you call it, um, uh, like subtitles at the bottom. I'm like, <laughs> so why the hell go sometimes? I know he said that. Yeah, like he spoke, he spoke to uh, Sub Zero in English, but then he spoke to Cole in Japanese, and I'm like, Cole can't speak Japanese. He hasn't shown the ability to speak Japanese. Oh, what up, Izzy? What's going on, bro? Appreciate you for coming and checking us out. Dude. Let's see. And yes, everyone speaks English, and <laughs> everyone speaks English in hell. Basically, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, did he learn English in hell? 
Yeah. Yeah. They got Rosetta out. Stone down there. <laughs> he figured it out after a while. <laughs> he saw that I mean, he had enough time to learn English. I would hope that he would know more than just like a couple of sentences. But <laughs> yeah, but yeah not... I was just like, wait, why does he know English? <laughs> They he had, couldn't even was, speak Chinese when he was, when, and he knew Beon. He knew Beon when, like, at the very beginning of the movie. So he's either worked with him, has fought him. He knows enough about him that he should be able to speak a little bit of Chinese since he deals with him enough to know him by name. True. The way they went about it, though, it was kind of like Scorpion just needed help because <laughs> he wiped out everybody. And, and and like he needed help from his homie at the end of the day. I'm like, come on, Scorpion, you ain't better than that, baby. Come on, man, you can get up. <laughs> like, <laughs> like you you're better than this, man. You're like the mascot. So like, I, I'm like that's like, another thing. People were like, oh, Sub Zero is too powerful. I'm like, he killed Scorpion, yeah. one of the best in his clan, <laughs> the yeah. best in this clan. They don't understand, man. They don't understand what they're. A lot of people don't understand what they're what they're watching, right? And at the same time, the way this was handled, like you said, the editing choices, the way it all kind of looked with on camera and stuff. Like I said, it can kind of look a little hokey here and there. Like mm -hmm. it, oh, this is HD cameras and the way they got the green screen going here and there. It's a little bit this and that. I, I can see what people say it could look a little cheap looking here and there because yeah. I watched the original. I'm like, yeah, that's film. That looks like you know. Oh, for uh, feature film, motion picture, feature yeah. stuff. So it's a thing where you know uh, most people are looking and comparing it straight from there. So I can see that, and also people have been inundated with like TV shows, and you know we're watching Snowfall and all, and all these good looking shows all day. Where it's just like, oh I, man, like, people people are used to Marvel, and whenever something isn't Marvel, it's automatically like shit half the time. True. And like that's that's one thing that's bugging the crap out of me is like half the people that have something negative to say. I know that they're getting their knowledge from being like, well, I can follow, you know, a Marvel storyline and a Marvel plot. So I know movies and like that's not to bash Marvel. I love Marvel. I think what they're doing is really good. Um, I, of course, have my, you know issues with it but overall marvel is you know it wouldn't be like the biggest movie you know they're doing something right now right. <laughs> they're doing something right basically it's right just, you know <laughs> yeah but you know because of how accessible they are people are playing you know movies on easy mode and then you know they they get given something else and they're like it's it's just not the same mm. and it's like you don't know anything about movies shut up you some dude i mean literally this also when i watch this movie it's a video game movie and yeah. mortal kombat to me like the original 95 has always been top tier it's always been my number one video game movie. You can say whatever you want to do about anything else. Like, you know, I don't consider Ready Player One or anything like a video. No, that's like got other stuff. Like, Ready Player is, One wasn't even. Yeah, it's a, a video game. Stuff. Yeah, a video game you could pop in and you did it. You play stuff like, you know, Assassin's Creed was yeah. a video game. terrible. Blood Rain was a video game. It was terrible. You know, movie like, you know, Dead or Alive. Like, like, like for me, like for me, it's like, like Mortal Kombat, um, the first Resident Evil movie. The yeah, first I actually have that on Blu-ray. Actually, actually have that on Blu-ray. Yes, you're right. You're right. The first Resident Evil. Like the first Resident Evil and the first Silent Hill movies were very good. I always forget about Silent Hill. We did watch that. That dude really pushed away movie. the car. He pushed away the car. Anyway, don't even, don't even remind me. And like more recently, Sonic the Hedgehog. I gotta see Sonic too. I'm still not like I can't. I can't. Well, I'm not gonna say it's a perfect movie, but it was an enjoyable movie. I, I, I would not. Put, I would not I, put Sonic the Hedgehog with like Mortal Kombat Annihilation, the no. Tekken movies, Street no, Fighter, The Legend of Chun Li. It's in the better realm of of it all, but it suffers for that that Transformerish kind of 
Yeah. We're hanging out with the humans. What yeah. are the humans doing? Don't you want to learn more about uh random Cyclops nobody? Cyclops <laughs> or something. You know, I'm like, no, I don't. I don't want to go get some chaos emeralds and get, collect rings. You but know, and go get Sonic his iconic shoes. That's beside the point. Anyway, back to Mortal Kombat. <laughs> they just they 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 are showing a lot more faithful to it, faithfulness to it. And this new one is de- definitely in that video game movie realm versus, like I say, a movie realm. This uh, the first one was treated more like a mo- standard movie, while this is trying to tell that video game story. Within the movie, you know, and they're like not as you know, like you said as well versus like a Marvel to do yeah. it just yet. Maybe they're gonna get better, you know. Maybe they're gonna take the you know points of what's going on here, and we're gonna see it because everybody's like, "Oh, there's no Johnny Cage." I'm like, I'm not gonna waste this movie. If this movie was just you know starting up foundation wise, the building block one. I want Johnny Cage in the second one, where it's two, where, you know, it's like Mortal Kombat two in 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 you know in place. In place. I was I was I was comparing this movie to Mortal Kombat, the actual video game, the first one, the video game when you, in the yard. I'm like, yeah, this it, everyone you know talks about that one, but as a kid who was young, I'm like, okay, this one's cool, but I always want to play two. I was yeah. I was want to play two, I always want to play three or something like that. Where right? but two is where it's like even with the harmony is where you know the, yeah. the classic what you know is so you know, and I think the second one can be just like that, where it's like okay. First one was a good, it's good. We see where it's going. It's a little shaky. The second one, though, yeah. And like I see that, I see that the the building blocks are there for a really good movie for the next one. And I hope they, I hope they stick the landing. I hope they don't annihilate in this thing. I hope they don't allow annihilate it. <laughs> but, um, but and like ooh, that, that's something else. I saw some people that were like, they they made a a movie about a tournament without putting a tournament in it. And I'm like, yeah, I didn't know. Not yeah. all the games are based off of tournaments. And it's all about, exactly. It's, it's probably about it's this whole thing leading up to it. The second one's going to have the tournament in it. One second, I'm looking into, oh, yeah. Is is this the first time we've actually seen Jax's eight, uh, oh, sorry, arms get ripped off in a movie? Oh, no. Yeah. Ripped off? Yeah. yeah. Like yeah, in, in, the, in, the, in the in the one before he, he he was he he just felt like he needed a a pump, so he yeah, had yeah. His, arms his gains were in his there. arms. His gains were in there where it needed to be. His, his gains weren't there, so he was like, "I don't want to do steroids because I heard that shrinks your pee pee." So I'm just gonna put some metal arms on my stuff, man. I'm gonna get some metal arms. I'm gonna get some metal arms. Work to Hannibal Birds. Anyway, and then they fell apart, and then apparently he didn't need them. Yeah, he was, exactly. He, 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 he was stronger without metal arms. <laughs> I mean, I always thought as a kid that it's like because he worked out with those with the metal on his arm. Oh, he was he was going the, the Goku route. <laughs> like he was strong. He was stronger at because of it. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just do that. He had more gusto. He could fight now. He, you know, whatever. He was yeah, <laughs> Exactly, he's way. He's been, tra- he been training with weighted clothing arms. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this new Jack. So I was like, yeah, I was, like I said, he's one of my characters. Like I wanted to see because he's a big strong man. One, like I want to see him. You know, go in and do some cool stuff. Like it was pretty cool. Yeah, you want to see people in the more go and take. I'm gonna take out Sub Zero. Yeah, like it just just didn't work out for him a lot of the time. Just, and he had this little, little goofy arms most of the time. He had his like, little baby arms. <laughs> as soon as he got <laughs> up, it was just like. Baby Kano on. was just like, do they make those in men's sizes? I was like, oh, thank you, thank you. I'm glad I'm not the only person that see them little, little baby arm. He got me. Oh, <laughs> he was looking at him like, oh, terrible. Um, <laughs> Melina, almost. No, how can I forget? Melina was vicious. I liked her character design. I love her character, character design. I think they picked a great person. I wish that she didn't die. I wish she was going to be in another one. Yeah, that could have been cool. And like, she still might because Shang Tsung. Shang Tsung. Yeah, he said yeah. he said death isn't like you know he's only but a portal away or something like that. And it was like yeah, like yeah. revenue. And you see him go ahead and get Goro and Sub Zero. So Sub Zero is definitely coming back as new Cybot. Uh, yeah. We don't know what he's going to do with um, the rest of his dead. But yeah, it's still 
Shang Tsung, so he can bring anybody back, and that's a recurring thing in Mortal Kombat anyway. What up, Rob? We got all the MK you need, baby. Serving <laughs> it up. So, yeah, <laughs> I, I definitely hope that they bring back uh, Molina and uh, they introduce Kitana and Molina and Jade and everything. Yeah, exactly, exactly. We got to have the ladies fight and, like, just the way her whole thing just went over and she got mad. <laughs> I love that scene. Love that scene. I wish that I wish that they did more with her. Like that was the thing that I didn't like. She wasn't in it enough. Um, but yeah, I I thought the voice, the way that they changed her voice was good. Her design was great. I like that. You know, it was a combination of her traditional mask plus uh, her without the mask in X, I believe. Where like she had like teeth up to here and like just like her mouth was here. So in mm -hmm. in this one, she had the blood up to here and her mouth was right here. So instead of putting the mask on, they just had the blood there. Right. And so it was like a combination of her with the mask and without the mask in X. And then when she got you know angry, she just tore everything and it just opened all the way up and it was so sick. And I was like, and she did all the teleporting and jumping around. She didn't do the role, but that's fine. It's whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I really loved her in, in the movie, too. Yeah, Again, wish she was in it more. She was vicious. Honestly, I was like, that's Melina. Like, I was yeah. like, I was kind of yeah. like, I couldn't say nothing else. Like, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. <laughs> like, if you take Cole out of it, every other character, except for maybe Raiden, and as much as people are like, Liu Kang, I'm like, Liu Kang is, has always been kind of a boring character in I mean, all the games. He's a monk. He a monk. He's a, he's a, you know, yet another Bruce Lee wannabe character, monk, traditional, you know, this is my first time picking up the game. This is your Ryu. This is your, you know, this is yeah. your Mortal Kombat Ryu, basically. He's, I mean, he's your, like, you know, exactly. your mid-tier. People love him. I mean, people say the same thing about Ryu. Yeah. You know, I'm not to dash Ryu. those characters. I'm bored with you. I'm like, you're bored with you? I mean, the, like, the loner walks around, get in the fight. You know, no, I can't do it. I got to train and fight. I got to fight and train. Yeah, but, man, <laughs> like, you know what, man? Root for a, you rooting for no, a, a violent play. hobo. <laughs> I'm about some new Nikes, baby. I don't, I don't wear shoes. I just walk around and fight. I I'll get Both up with you, dog. The character. I get up with you. you. <laughs> get up. <laughs> Next time, Ryu baby. Is, Ryu is bum fights the character. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he does. Oh man. But uh, yeah, like, but I felt like Liu Kang was Liu Kang in this. I wasn't just in like they just ruined the character. No, he's Liu Kang. I don't know what y'all was expecting. Y'all just mad that he's not the main character. Yeah, but I can see that. Yeah, I, and that's fine to be upset about that. It's just, you know, people are like, this Liu Kang is terrible. It's like, no, he isn't. He's Liu Kang. I mean, Liu Kang has always been just he, a bored character. People don't like whatever, like, didn't come from beforehand. Like you said, like, yeah. I said, this, this, this thing when things from, happen. The, I, I, as I said before earlier here on the stream, where I'm like, this suffers from new age movie itis in terms of just like, oh man, like this is from a, a universe. Oh, this is yeah. this guy. You know, what I grew up with is always better. Yeah, he's got a well, he's got a fan. Got all this kind of stuff like that. Yeah, that's just another element of it where it's just like, oh, you know, uh, people wanted uh, it's Luke Kang to be it because, and I, and I feel like this is the that Spider Man Homecoming feeling of where it's like. We're not gonna do the same thing we did beforehand. We're gonna do like yeah. a different direction of Mortal Kombat. We could have yeah. easily have done Liu Kang be the, the main focus guy, but they they knew that until done it so many times. It's like why keep doing that, man? Man, he was so unoriginal, and that's why, yeah. and that's why sometimes you don't do. And it. it's like there's one thing that this Liu Kang did better: his dragon. His dragon was way better than the other Liu Kang's dragon. Well, like you're talking about Annihilation. Dragon, yeah, yeah. yeah. Crazy, crazy wild nineties CGI. <laughs> Doing a hurricane kick. Oh my Ooh, god! Baby. I was like, this is 
bad. This is the worst thing ever. Puff the Magic Dragon. <laughs> Just wacky, wackadoo terribleness. Oh, man. Everybody, appreciate y'all checking us out with Mortal Kombat. Drop a like on the chat, man. Subscribe to G Channel here. I'm going to uh, add a link to Good, Good Guys and Greg later on. But uh, definitely look them up right there. It's just a spell. Yep. But uh, yeah, no, man, that's one of the things where I'm excited to see what's next. They have a very good foundation here, but this is not by any means uh, I'm going to be watching this 20 something years from now and get like good feels like all the time. Maybe it's yeah. going to be for some kid. I'm not going to say yeah. for French, someone liking it. This is not a bad movie. It's not like a thing where I'm like, I'm just going to play But I stretch the imagination. People that are out there saying that this is the worst Mortal Kombat movie you need to go sit down somewhere. No, no, it's not. No, it's not bad at all. It's just, it's, it's got its flaws. And I think, you know, certain things like the Goro fight. Yeah. Yeah, the Goro fight. That CGI looked like looked weird to me there. Like, it, it, it reminded me of the Hulk. Remember when Hulk was fighting those dogs? At the farm where they're like hiding, you know, CG faults through the darkness. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that kind of stuff was like when I'm looking at them over here, like, girl, don't look good. <laughs> yeah. don't look good. Scenes, he does look fine, but yeah, the scene is so dark, it's like they're hiding their CG, <laughs> right? Yeah, because you never see him in the daylight, not once. Yeah, yeah, shadowed over here doing this and that because he's a huge piece of work to do so i can understand yeah. like yeah they, they definitely were rushed i feel surrounded. like they definitely worked on reptile before they got to goro because reptile is actually in like he's still you know in shadow but there's fire there and reflections and stuff yeah. so i feel like they worked on reptile when they still have money and then like got to goro at the end yeah goro along, has with, too, uh, along with cole's power and grammar and that's what I'm saying. Like with those two at the end on a character we barely like doing something that we barely care about, you know, because we don't care about yeah. his family, we don't care about nothing. You got this weird gold armor. There's, like you said, it's, it's, this, this gold ranger armor that just come up over him, and you're like, all right, baby, let's see how. Let's, all right, let's see how this goes. And, and you see like the plastic kind of folding, and like, yeah. and, like certain shots. That was one of my scene, favorite part. There's a scene at the end oh. when they're leaving fight with Sub-Zero yeah. and they're walking and the ground's supposed to have like snow or like ice on it and, and yeah. you can tell it's just like a white cloth because it wrinkles as they're walking on it. <laughs> and I was like, oh, y'all couldn't cover that up just a little bit better. <laughs> I mean, you know. Because like at first I was like, okay, well maybe it's just because it's, you know, the ground. I'm like, well, no. Most <laughs> martial arts mats tend to be taut. <laughs> But yeah, Daryl, gonna do Daryl. What's up, bro? He said, "I swear, I was like, where the rest of the fucking armor?" It's like, yeah, it's like he went on like his his RPG and just put on the chest armor, and that's all he. Yeah, he, turned, he turned off the helmet because he he put he put like an hour and a half into making his character face. Right. So he's like, I don't care the the body. Okay, I want the armor, but I don't. I always want to see my face because I made my character the way I want it. It looked yeah, like me. Like so I'm gonna turn on the like helmet. Like soul caliber character, boy. Like he's just, he's just like, yeah, I'm not. I, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with him. I like the, the gold chest. I like, like, I, I just don't know what, how to put it all together though. I'm trying to work out, work it out. But this was him though. This is my guy. Like, <laughs> that's, that's exactly his name. It's gonna be Cole. <laughs> Cole. <laughs> you can name him anything. Generic name ever. You can name him anything else. His name's gonna be Cole. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I love those situations. Like, okay, all right. Yeah, that is, a, I, that is a player character. That is an insert player character name, Cole. Right, this man, like, yeah, he's a, I hope you get, yeah, only get hit in the chest and the arms, or they, I only, they only protect my chest and the arms, baby. <laughs> Just yeah, don't hit me in the face. Too pretty. Man, don't hit me in the balls. I'm gonna <laughs> step on my toe. I'm all fucked up. Just put the chest at people. Say it with the chef has a whole new meaning. Yeah, but basically, uh, yeah. I, I saw some people that were mad that uh, Cole fought Goro in like a shed. <laughs> I, I said that's the whole. It's the setting too. It was displeasing to the eye. It's like yeah. it's one of those things you don't understand, but your brain did kind of say like it's like Ugh. like you don't want to see this here. You want to see it in Outworld. You want to see Cole fight Goro in Outworld. 
Yeah, you like all you have to do is just grab him and teleport him there. Yeah, you don't want to see him in no shit. <laughs> I don't know. Just that sentence by itself is just great. Like, you don't want to see him in no shit. <laughs> but that's the point. That's a, that's it. <laughs> That's it. That's exactly it. You don't want to see. You don't want to fight Goro. Is, is the, all right. All right. All right. On the level select screen all the time. <laughs> if you had, you know, Sha- the Shao Kahn, like, the temple. <laughs> Shao Kahn's temple. You know, the, 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 the link, the Cyberlink Quay. You know, laboratories. Cold shed. Like, <laughs> cold shed. Cold shed. All right, baby. I got you. That's what you're gonna pick. <laughs> I see. That's what that, that's exactly what you're telling me here. So I can understand that. Yeah, but like um, some people are like, "Oh, Goro, it, it should have taken more to fight Goro." I'm like, Goro's always been like. I saw somebody put it on a in, in Facebook. They're like, Goro has always been a jobber character. <laughs> They're mm-hmm. like, he won nine. He won nine uh, championships. It's like, yeah, off screen. He's to make the main character look better. Yeah. You know, <laughs> he's that character that's like, he's not he's not supposed to be like, like, I mean, look how he went out fighting Johnny Cage. He got punched in the balls and knocked off a, knocked off a roof. <laughs> Get out of here. I mean, yeah. It was, it was. He's a jobber character. He was plot armor. He yeah. Was plot. And, y'all and, going off the and Johnny beat him flawlessly. <laughs> He punched yeah. him in the balls, ran up some stairs, kicked him off. He he punched him, kicked him a little bit. He did a little, uh, uh, little uh, uh. he did a little something. I watched it today. He okay. did a little mix up with him. He hit him with a free hit combo. Hit him one, and knocked him off. You know, and then, you know, it was a five hundred dollar sunglasses asshole. Just fucking bah. It was like, yeah. <laughs> then bread up, Goro. <laughs> Okay, he stunned it on him before he killed him off a mountain. That's my Johnny. But, so like, yeah, we're 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 gonna see where it goes here. But yeah, ultimately, yeah. this is just uh, yeah, everyone's overreacting. I feel everybody's going too way too crazy. Everybody's like, oh man, that's the worst thing ever. And I'm like, honestly, I look at it, I'm like, what are y'all watching? That's so good because y'all was going crazy over Godzilla versus Kong like like month ago, and it's it's good, but it ain't like good. Right. <laughs> the greatest yeah, thing like I'm world, seeing people like, that's like, oh, this movie is boring. I'm like, okay, there's a fight scene at the very beginning. There's a fight scene like five minutes after that. Yeah. There's a fight scene five minutes after that. <laughs> it's like they they keep you invested. There's fights quite regularly in this movie. Now, it's I not like the movie where it's like there's a fight at the beginning and then like 20, 30, 40 minutes later there's another fight. I mean, I will say part, parts of this movie in the second watch, I mean, I do, I, I was able to, I did check my phone a couple times on there because it was like, all right, cool, I know this part, I know this part. So like I said, on a rewatch, it wasn't as, like I said, if you watch that 95, well, I think you're, you're going to understand what I mean by it, where you're like, no, it's, yeah. it's not all nostalgia, it's not all that, it's literally how the movie was made in a swing of a flow of a movie, of yeah. a flow of a, I a, feel a, like a, the first act. movie is that de- the, the first movie has a lot less we have to check, you know, the boxes. Yeah. Kind of stuff. This is someone, this is a movie that was made, you know, it's still made to make money, obviously, but there was a lot, there was probably a lot less, you know, people in suits saying, well, you know, you got to make sure this, you know, demographic is met and this is done and you got to set up for the next movie and you got to do this and this. Like, it felt like, even though they were setting up for a sequel at the end, it felt more of, it felt more like, it felt less of like, we're setting up for a sequel and more of the story continues kind of thing. We're like, this isn't the end. The story will always continue kind of thing. As opposed to, okay, now here's some teasers for the next, you know, cause we gotta do cinematic universe thing. That people do that movies do now, and this movie felt like it had a lot of that in there. Oh yeah, and that's what I'm saying. And and, and because of that, adding in all this other useless crap makes it even yeah. that more jarring. Where you're like, okay, 
cool, but you know, we gotta learn more about this. I like to I will I would like to learn more about Cabal than yeah. Cole's family. You know, I like more more learn more about, you know, you know, Sindel or whoever else. You know, just just whoever else they putting in this movie. Yeah. It it really it really was just like y'all are throwing all this in here and y'all are really like oh man we don't y'all have enough characters yeah like it's Mortal Kombat yeah they we, didn't need to make a new character for it, but we for have this. to ground the people there's enough human characters in the fray of like Mortal Kombat you can ground yeah, people the franchise with. has like what like seventy <laughs> something characters in it. <laughs> One of them got a ground pound. Like one, like one of them's like, like for real, for real. You over here all the way. <laughs> it's like you had three characters coming from our world to go into, you know, nether world, nether realm, and you couldn't pick one of those three characters to make the main character. Nah, they couldn't see it. They couldn't figure it out. We this need a Netflix family man, episode. Cole. In this Netflix episodic, you know, culture of like, you know, what's the next? What's the next? We gotta like. Sit here and, and and like have a attention. Like they, they can't tell a story. I, I think they couldn't feel they couldn't tell an effective story without that. You know, because yeah. with all these other characters, they could die. We have to have one particular character that could be like, okay, his own experience. So whatever happens to them, we can just excuse that kind yeah. of thing. Versus and like honestly, Liu Kang, you do this to Wu Wu, even though they gave Liu Kang a molestation, you know, story. And like honestly. If they improve on Cole, like maybe kill off his family or have him divorce him or something. Right. Like have his wife divorce him and take the kid because he, he wants to keep fighting them. And she's like, she does the whole, I can't sleep at night knowing you're out there fighting monsters and gods and blah, blah, blah. You know, get rid of the family. I understand that, you know, that's that was like his, his you know, whole drive in this one. But, you know, you can keep him as the main character because it does give you, you know, someone to hold on to. And the other characters can be more, you know, up there. They can be more up on the chopping block because, you know, if Liu Kang was the main character, then you couldn't kill off Liu Kang. Like, you, yeah. like, like in the, you know, and now because he's not, they can kill off Liu Kang. They can bring back, they can bring back zombie Liu Kang, like in the games. Yeah. And like have him, or Revenant Liu Kang. Yeah. And, you know, Shang Tsung, you know, takes his soul, kills Liu Kang. And, you know, at the end of Mortal Kombat, you know, to the movie, you see Shang Tsung you know, raising up Liu Kang as, you know, either zombie Liu Kang or Revenant Liu Kang. Yeah. So, yeah, like, they're setting it up to do some really cool stuff with it. They just gotta, they gotta, they gotta do some stuff with Cole. Like, it, it wouldn't be the first time they took a character that people didn't like and made him cool. It yeah. can be done. They gotta work with him. They gotta work with your boy. Yeah. They gotta ride him. They gotta ride him. Yeah, with his gold, gold, uh, gold pecs. And, and, and chess. It's His Aquaman happening. suit. Nah, nah, that's not working out, man. This Gilbert Tallywacker. His Aquaman suit. I like, I like the meme that's going around. Like, oh man, I can't wait for the sequel when they take on uh, the DC universe. Oh so God. Mortal Kombat oh, versus DC. I just thought about it. I'm like, get out of here. Watching yeah. Cole get beat up by Ben Affleck, Batman. That would be sick. I want to see that now. I want to see Ben Affleck, Batman do that warehouse scene. Nicole just boo boo. Goo. Goo. See, that, see, that's you. That's go ahead. You're going you, you to pay. That's going to be just for you. I don't even see that right now. That is going to be just like that video game. <laughs> Terrible. I don't think they should do that, but I just think it would be funny to see Ben Affleck Batman beat up Cole. Bruh. Um, let's see. Who so I think the fatality for Kung Lao was great, and that was the, probably the best thing in the world in the whole movie in terms of gory Mortal Kombat goodness, like you're gonna get in terms of like just that like I don't know, anything better. I actually like Jax's fatality a little bit better. 
Just because, like, how the head popped and everything. Oh, that looked good. That was really gangster. I mean, Sub Zero ripping Jack's arms off, you know, uh, freezing them off was good. It was good. Yeah, yeah like, that, that, that totally, I guess that would be considered a brutality, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, and, like, and that's the thing about it. when people over here, that's a lot of things. Where, oh, yeah, I like how it was. But I'm like, we got some of the, like, most gruesome Mortal Kombat scenes in this movie, like, that we've ever gotten. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know, that, you know, it's not, you know, uh, Done to the effect of just so much, but yeah, it's enough. It, it, it was pretty good. Like I, I liked it. But, yeah, you know, yeah. People, I don't know what where everybody's getting off too because it's, it's just like yeah, it's it's a it's a video game movie. It's a Mortal Kombat movie. It's the first one, and you start seeing over time. Like like I said, they go they're going on with something else. I don't need anything else to uh, you know. This is a good starting off point. Right? You know, exactly, that's, exactly. That's starting off point, yeah. and like, I don't know what people were going into this movie thinking they were going to see. If they were thinking they were going to see like Citizen Kane, Mortal Kombat, or what? My whole thing is like, I'm like, y'all was expecting No Country for Old Men type <laughs> you know? Know? dialogue Citizen and mytho. <laughs> I'm like, dude, okay, look, the lore is really good, and honestly, I feel the Nether Realm, like the campaign story modes for Nether Nether Realm games, are probably some of the best. Mortal Kombat yeah. movies are fine around. It's one, the, it's one of the reasons that I still buy Mortal Kombat games, even though I don't necessarily like the combat all that much. It's yeah, it's I good. play it mostly for the story. The story is good. And like yeah. and the the story, the violence, <laughs> and you know, Melina. But <laughs> but like other than that, like and like even me, someone who does play Mortal Kombat for the story. You know, I know that the story is not this, you know, untouchable, unimpeachable, you know, flawlessly made just pinnacle of storytelling. The story has been rebooted multiple times, people. That's Stop making this sound like, oh, my God, this movie. <laughs> my yeah. God, they just ruined the plot. It's like they've rebooted the universe multiple times at this point. I mean, literally, that's kind of like the whole bag of. It. I mean, it's because we played the games over the years so much, we've known that a lot. That's why it wasn't a big deal. We're like, I mean, it's always the ninth or fourth, tenth, tur- the tenth tournament. Yeah, they got to sit here and you know do this and lost all this time and and, and they got they got cheat through the whole thing and they got to figure out. Oh man, yeah. Got, if it don't go right, we got we got reboot it. <laughs> this ain't gonna work, baby. We got reboot. It's like it. they're like, oh, we want. We want Luke Kane to be the main character, but we still wanted to follow the main storyline. It's like, so you guys know he becomes a bad guy, right? <laughs> it's like, sure, at this point, he is a good guy again, and he's like a god. Even though I didn't play the new, the DLC. I didn't play the DLC uh, Aftermath? yet. Huh? Yeah, Aftermath. I haven't played Aftermath yet. I just started Aftermath. Like, literally, uh, I was just... I guess a couple months ago when I was last playing Mortal Kombat, I I, I was getting whooped up by uh, Kronika. And because this last time I was, I, 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 I watched the movie again, I got jazzed up. I was like, oh, yeah, Mortal Kombat. Da, da. And I just went you know, and started playing the game. I'm like, oh, man, I left off on the campaign. I got, I was, I was getting whooped up. But then I ended up beating her afterwards. I'm like, yeah, yeah. And it's just like, so I got to start up after that now. Yeah. I was literally, you know, I had a whole Mortal Kombat, like, had to sit down for a second. Like, oh man, <laughs> she was cheap. Yeah. She cheap, so, and she de- and she can't get hit with combos. She falls out of combos, and like you can't use your uh, X ray ability, your X ray ability on her or anything. So yeah, don't remind me, bro. Don't remind me. I was always like, she's not selling none of this. She's not. Oh, I'm over here hitting with this and that, and and like you know, uh, wow, I'm over here playing as like. The crazy uh, the playing as Luke Kang and stuff like that, and she's flipping behind me. So I'm trying to do the kick, and if you do it the other way, you're doing the wah. And I'm yeah. over here just being mad. <laughs> just over here. <laughs> so after she went out, I was like, yeah, yeah, that's your, your over with. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, people are like, oh, it's got to follow the story. It's like, okay, first off, you got to go through Luke Kang being, you know, the, the golden child through the boring. Boring golden child, and then he dies, and he comes back as a zombie, and then he's not a zombie, and then he dies again, 
Well, then he uh, starts getting mad at Raiden because he feels like Raiden ain't doing his job properly. And then he almost, then he like kills a bunch. Of, then he like gets pissed off and he turns against Raiden. Raiden kills him, and then he turns to uh, Revenant, and then he works. But he's a he's a revenant king and he's evil and then he's a god. <laughs> it's like, dude, you really want to go through stop all that? making it seem like this is like the pinnacle of storytelling and just enjoy the ride. This is a Mortal Kombat movie. Just enjoy it. Everybody have a drink if you have to. You know, have a drink. Get you a pizza. Everybody has nice, you know, champagne and key you know, like, they, like, nice they got and dressed stuff. up in suits and stuff to go see. I'm like, no, man. Go see Mortal Kombat, honey. <laughs> it's like you realize you're getting super critical over a movie called Mortal Kombat with a K. Fatality. Exactly. I mean, they even said it. Like, you know, they spelled yeah. it wrong. Like, <laughs> Like you getting so up your butt about a movie called Mortal Kombat with a K. Get over yourself. Pretty, pretty good one. Yeah, that's, that's the thing about it. Like, I'm, I love it. I love the series, but I'm not gonna sit here and take it so seriously that I'm thinking like it's got to be this, you know, in a word. It, 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 not to say it can't be done seriously in a lot of ways. Yeah. Like the way they did that first seven minutes. Like I say, like a lot of things, you know were taken to a, a certain type of uh, respect, but mm -hmm. I also know that suspend disbelief at yeah. so many spots. I, you have an invisible reptile person over here, got this woman with like crazy teeth over here, you got a guy with metal like, on. We got it. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a game where, it's like, yeah, it's a game where, you know, people die and there's serious stakes and stuff, but it's also a game where you can turn someone into a baby. Or yeah. drop a video game machine on their head, or a woman, or or a woman will yell at you, and your ghost will go f running away from your body, or Cabal takes his mask off and he's so ugly that your soul runs away. He's <laughs> like, "Come on, you, this is still a see. goofy ass game." I don't see how you can't write any of that into Oscar worthy material, Greg. I, oh, just, <laughs> I just don't see it. Okay, <laughs> you know. But I think, you know, since we're running up on an hour and 30, we're about to go wrap this up, you know. Okay, well, let's wrap it up, but I do have a question. Go ahead. I, go remember, ahead. I remember you said that you preferred The the Miz for Johnny Cage for the upcoming movie. Well, yeah, in terms of, like, a lot of people are saying, a lot of people are saying Ryan Reynolds. Who do you think would do it better, Miz or Ryan Reynolds? See, here's the thing about that. I love Ryan Reynolds, and I feel like I feel like he just has Deadpool down so bad. It's just so much double duty in that sense. And at the same time, I feel like, yeah, he could do it functionally. But the the world that they established here, mm -hmm. man. The, like I, I like it's one of the things where like, I feel like he just would fit he would fit more into this like I I, I don't know I, I know it sounds crazy or something like that but he works with the hokiness of the of, of the of that they established already Ryan Reynolds already you know he's a little bit older now he's a little bit he's doing his thing with Deadpool I just feel like it's just he would be splitting his energies between two things and it just wouldn't work out as 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 well as you think it'd be almost like he's doing you know Deadpool as you know. I mean, that's, that's kind of what people would hire him for. That's what they did with Pikachu. They were like, we want Deadpool Pikachu. So <laughs> they would want Deadpool Johnny Cage. Um, I don't know enough about The Miz. Like, I, I haven't, you know, watched wrestling in, you know, a long time, really. Yeah. But um, when it comes to Ryan Reynolds, I do feel like it would be hard to watch him and not just see Deadpool. Exactly. And I feel like Johnny Cage, like maybe if this was before Deadpool and this was, you know, waiting Ryan Reynolds, like from yeah. the movie Waiting, or yeah, like, um, that was oh six oh seven, like, yeah, a while ago. I'm over here like that's what I'm saying. Like, dude, Ryan Reynolds is older now. I'm like, some of this is, yeah, Miz is a little bit younger than him, but like it's still like he fits 
that bill and that build as well. Like his, the way he's stocky a little like, like with the other actors, it would be weird to have such a huge, you know, actor with everyone else. Yeah, he fits the like I say, he fits the tone of the everybody. Like I say, that's how, that's exactly what I'm talking about, bro. Like, like a lot of people, like all the other actors, like there are recognizable actors, but there isn't like you know a Ryan Reynolds level of star power mm-hmm. we're getting yeah. there. And that's what I'm saying. Like, no, nah, I, I wouldn't say that. That's why and it would just like, be weird to he, like he, have he like tip, he would tilt the budget. Yeah. And they already was scrambling with some of that budget before. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, like if Miz, if Miz can get, get in there, it'll be great exposure for him. He'll put all his all into it. You know, like I said, he'll make it his own. He'll be I hope, it's, I hope it's acting. I mean, I mean, that's it's still more combat, but like, like some some uh, wrestlers can, you know, make that transition into like well, major acting. Some can't. So he already his acting. Movie. He's already in movies. Okay. But like, I'm like, I say it because I will feel like this will be his big role. Like, this will be in the, his, in the league league out filmography. Role. This will be his big role. And that way he will take it and be like, okay, I'm going to be Johnny Cage. And like, it'll be a thing where like, it's going to be tight. And I'm, I'm, I'm over here, I'm going to watch my boy Miz go in there because I see what he's done with WWE over the past years. I've been watching the guys since uh, Real World. Back in like 2002, Greg, you yeah. know, <laughs> you know, like literally, he was on Real World MTV, and like he, on there, he was, oh yeah, you smell what the Miz is cooking, and like it was just a thing where like he just he just loved WWE, but then later on, you see in like on high school or something that like, he's that's a dude from Real World, he, he made it, like <laughs> like he actually made it, and you just see it like over time, he becomes a snarky jerk, like. He is essentially to give you a good idea of Miz. He's every uh, uh, every uh, antagonist to the main character protagonist. That's like you know he's almost the Malfoy. He's your almost, Flash Thompson. Your yeah, you know, like, yeah. He's yeah the, the bully. The yeah with the blonde hair with the you know yeah with freshman captain of the football team. Really, really freshman kind of stuff like that and yeah. like. You know, and you can see how I can morph that. He can morph that into a giant cage, just kind of because he's done other stuff too, like that, where he's you know like just as quick witted, just as funny, and you know, honestly, it's been one of the better better spots of Raw since this move, since, since this show has been crap. Anyway, uh, yeah, it'll be something like he can he can definitely sink his teeth. So, I'll probably send you a couple of clips just to see if I can find anything that can be like all right, that this that in yeah. here. You see Johnny Cage in it because yeah, Ryan Reynolds would no. Ryan Reynolds is a no. Like I, I love him, but he would have to be younger. It'll be like and he would not to have that de- Deadpool on his like on his notch, you know. And because Pikachu was just like yeah, it's Pikachu, but like, that's just out of nowhere kind of stuff like that. This is Johnny yeah. Cage. It was like you know going to be a definitive particular thing where it's like you're gonna you're gonna have both. Like so give somebody else. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's all I want to ask. Let's go no, ahead and no problem. But I appreciate you coming by, man. You know, yeah, a lot of fun. Japan and stuff like that. Thank you, yeah. thank everybody for coming on in there. You Thanks know, <laughs> you know, it's always a pleasure. Uh, it's always good. G Channel signing out. See you guys. Good guy, Greg. Later. Peace.